What's going on everybody? Ricky Robinson with Two Times Our Media back again with another video. In this video, I want to talk about a device that allows you to connect to your Fujifilm camera to use it for a remote shutter or remote record. Say you're not that close to your camera and you want to hit record. You got to walk all the way over to your camera, hit record and walk back to where you are. Sometimes that works perfectly fine. Sometimes you don't want to miss the shot. So, or you, you just have a flow. You're in the flow, you don't wanna mess that up. So you need a little device, you need a little help. The remote shutter on the app is just not that reliable. It will crash on you, trust me. I've tried it every single way that you can, it will crash on you at some point. So you want a little bit more assurance, you want something that's gonna work, you want something that's easy, you can put in your pocket, hold on to it, press it without even thinking about it. So I have the device for you and me and you. I mean, whatever. I have the device for us. Now, I didn't come up with this device. I came across this device on a Fujifilm forum. So I'm gonna put a link to the website to give you all the information about this device, how to get it to work, where to buy it. With that being said, I will put this disclaimer out there for you. I'm not 100% that it's gonna work for every single Fujifilm camera. I can't guarantee that. I'm not a big company and neither can the person that put this out. We can't guarantee that it's gonna work, unfortunately. I wish we could. Fujifilm, if you're listening, please allow your Bluetooth to work with more devices. A lot more easier. This is, this is great, but just to go through all this stuff, just to make sure your camera works with the Bluetooth shutter, it's just, it's 2023. Let's, let's get with the times. You guys have Bluetooth in all your cameras, I think, or at least all the cameras that I have. Let's just allow it to work with third-party devices. I would appreciate it. I know I'm not the only one. So what is this device? This device is called the M5 Stick. I think M5 Stick Pro, but M5 Stick C Plus, something like that. M5 Stick, that's what this thing is called, right? And this thing is a tiny computer, a tiny computer that allows it to connect to your Fujifilm cameras. Now, like I said, I can't guarantee it's gonna work with every single camera, but I can tell you it'll work with the XS10, as I'll show you right here, and it'll work with your X-T4. It'll work with your X-H2S. Now, uh, with the X-H2S, there is a little bit more firmware and a little bit more updating that you need to do to this device to get it to work with your X-H2S but you can get it to work. All the information that you need is gonna be in the link in the description down below. So you can get anything you need for the latest update for this to work with your uh, XH2S on firmware 3.0. Who is this device for? Now I say this device is for people like us who is maybe my hands shake a lot. So IBIS works, but say I need a little bit of a sh slower shutter speed for the photo or the video, or for the photo that I'm gonna take. You would connect this device to your X-H2S or your X-S10 or your X-T4, and you would click it, and it will take the picture for me, for you. You don't have to worry about any camera shake. You're not gonna to touch the camera at all. So once it's connected, you hit the little remote shutter, the little middle button. You guys can see that. You hit that little button in the middle, and it's gonna take the picture for you. So you can get those nice, smooth, beautiful shots of water that you guys take. I wish I can take one of those. I'm not there yet as far as photography, but I will take one of those at some point. I want to find a nice, you know, nice looking river or whatever to take a uh, falls or something like that, which would be cool. You're at, say, a portrait shoot and you want to make sure that the person is perfectly tack sharp. You set all your settings, you get it all set up. You click this thing, you just go to town. It does do um, drive, so it'll do like burst shots. You can use the button on the side to reacquire a focus in the focus spot. And then the middle button also does the reacquire focus in the middle. Once you click that, it'll focus on wherever you have the box on and it'll focus on that and then take the picture. I myself like to use it more for video 
So I have it connected to my XH2S. I click it, I start my recording, and I'm good to go. So let me do a little brief demonstration to show you how it works on the XS10 and the XT4. If you just follow the information and in the uh, link in the description down below. So follow that. Trust me, it's real easy. If you follow those instructions, you'll have no problems. Now I did it on my Mac. I didn't do it on my desktop. I did it on my Mac and it worked perfectly fine for me. I'm going to show you real quick what the buttons are. The button on the left, there's three buttons on it. The button on the left is the back button or also the power button. You can hold that for a few seconds. It'll turn it on. It'll turn it off. The middle button, the one on the face underneath the little screen, that is the OK button, the select button and the shutter and the remote shutter. And the one on the right is your down arrow. Press the little arrow and it moves down. There are several selections on the menu. When you first turn it on, you're going to see connect, scan, delete, saved settings and power off. First, you're going to put your camera into pairing mode. You're going to click on the menu. You're going to go down to the little wrench. You're going to go down on that screen to connection settings, Bluetooth settings, and in pairing registration, you're going to see it's going to try to pair. It's looking for a device to pair to looking for the remote, the camera remote. So once you click on that, you're going to click scan on your M5 stick. So you're going to click scan on the M5. It's going to say found one device. It's going to pull up the name of your camera. You're going to select, you're going to hit the middle button to select it. And now it's going to tell you on your camera that it's connected to Furble. And you're going to hit OK. There's a few issues with this. The first issue is it's not a major company that's developing this thing. This is a device that somebody found that somebody was able to think and make uh, software to allow this thing to work with your Fujifilm cameras. I believe they were looking for a way to make it work with Canon cameras. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong first, but like the, I think the Canon T7 I, I think they were trying to connect this to. So they had this device and they found a way to make it work with your Fujifilm cameras. So I can't guarantee you that it's going to work all the time. And I can't guarantee you it's going to work with every single firmware update. But I will tell you, it works with the firmware 3.00 on the Fujifilm X-H2S. It works with the current firmware. I didn't update my XS10 yet in my X-T4. It works with that. No issues. To the latest, I didn't update them yet because of the whole freezing thing. So I've, I've been holding off on that. So I haven't updated it to, to those, but it worked right out the box with those. It didn't work right out the box with my XH2S. I contacted the person from the article that I'm, that I have linked down below. I contacted them and he was able to update the site to add the latest firmware for it to work with your cameras. And it works flawlessly, no issue at all. It connects. Now I will say I have to go in there and connect it every single time. It could be user error because it doesn't connect right off the bat when I hit connect, but it works. It works. I don't care. I'm fine with that. I'll find it reconnecting it every single time. It's just like I get in my car and I reconnect it to the to Bluetooth. It, it's the same thing to me. So I don't have a problem with that. I'm just glad it works. Do you need this device? Of course not. This is like icing on the cake. I mean, this is just your camera's already great. It, these three cameras that I have all have IBIS but this allows me to get a much stabler locked on shot without having to worry about my can my hands shaking my hands shake a lot so and that's even without drinking caffeine so my hands are always shaking it's not i'm not the most stable this person i'm not going to be a, a heart surgeon or anything so but i do want my pictures to be pretty sharp you know so I think this device is awesome. I like the fact that I can hit record. I can start and stop my recording on my XH2S without a problem, no matter how far it is. Right now it's really close, but no matter how far it is, I can start and stop the recordings when I need to. 
So I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, if, you, if it was a little bit entertaining, if you learned something, if you found out about a device that you were looking for, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching the video. My name is Ricky Robinson with Two Times R Media. Peace.